Ford, the leader of a group of women who have organized a microeconomic agricultural cooperative in Lofa County, Liberia. Although Liberia is an English-speaking nation, the inhabitants of this area speak the Loma dialect. <laughs> And this is Zorwar village. The women of this village have borne the brunt of the 14-year brutal war. But on this day, they are celebrating the first ever in this village. The two-day celebration comes after the first harvest, made possible by contributions from our organization, Yasa Sisters. Zorwar Village is a treacherous nine-hour drive, a two-and-a-half-day walk for most, from the capital of Monrovia. Because of its remote location, no assistance has come to this village since the war ended in 2006. During the war, nearly everything was destroyed. The Yasa Sisters Initiative is the first help that has come to the villagers, and for that, they are profoundly grateful. In October 2010, Eric Wu Wu, fan founder of Change Agent Network, arrived in Zohar Village to present our offer of assistance to the women under Yasa's leadership. Our agreement is that we provide startup capital for them to begin a pay it forward agricultural cooperative. The empowerment of rural women and the pivotal role they play in poverty and hunger eradication was the focus of the 2012 International Women's Day and the 56th session of the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. Investing in rural women can help solve the world's most challenging problems, poverty reduction, food scarcity, environmental sustainability, and global security. This is the first time in the history of this village that women were allowed to meet. Prior to this, although women make up 95% of the agricultural labor, they were not allowed to have a voice or own farmland. This is the corporate headquarters. <laughs> Eric received these symbols of peace and welcome from the village chief, the chicken and cola nuts. These women manage almost everything, caring for the children and families, finding scarce food, preparing meals, managing households, procuring water and firewood. They lack access to the capital, property, education, and physical security. But Yasa Sisters is changing that. Our initial investment of $700 enabled them to buy tools and seeds to plant this peanut farm. They have begun to cultivate sustainable futures. For the first time in 22 years, they are also cultivating hope and joy. These women are courageous, proactive, and strong. They walk two and a half hours each way between the home and the fields. Still, they are happy to do it. Like all mothers, they care about their children. They want them to be fed, healthy, and educated. Investing to improve these women's lives and livelihoods is a moral imperative. Rural women cannot wait, and the world cannot wait. Peanuts are a primary crop in Lofa County. Future plans are to plant rice, cassava, and edos. The women own the farmland, another first for them. The chief and the men in this village are supportive of their empowerment. They help them to clear and plant the land prior to planting. No one is paid for their work. Instead, they work together for the goal and the good of the community.
The women divide the labor task according to ability. Regardless, it is all strenuous work in the heat and humidity of the jungle climate. Water has to be carried from the village to the field. Once these peanut plants are dug up, the nuts, called ground nuts in Liberia, are separated from the plants and gathered by each woman in her basket. Eric's brother, Davy, lends a hand. And this is the result. The nuts are stored until they're ready to be transported to the market. And witness the joy. Imagine what it must be like for her to grasp that people in Louisiana, people she has met only through video, are making this possible for her such a simple thing and such a profound impact. Martin Webb, a friend of Eric's since his time in the refugee camp, has spent years creating this documentary of Eric's story. That story will now include the story of these amazing women. Another initiative that was made possible by a generous donation is the purchase of palm oil from neighboring villages. After the rainy season, the oil will be transported to the market for sale at a substantial profit. These are the faces of gratitude. So let the harvest celebration begin. First the women ask permission from the village chief. And once granted, the women pay respect to the elder woman of the village. They ask her blessing. And then she dances with them. What is amazing about this is that this woman stays in her house and makes rare appearances. Notice the women with the tubs on their heads. They're carrying water for the villagers. It's also customary in Liberia to throw money at the dancers. It's a sign of appreciation and the money is shared by all. These young girls are the daughters of the chief. Even they could not afford to go to school. So Yasa's sisters is now funding their uniforms and school attendance.
And now Yasa joins in the dancing. And the women's circle in her honor. And even Eric and Davy can't help but join in this celebration. You may notice that the drummer is a man. He's from another village. And this is because the women's drums got wet and were ruined. They were very concerned about not having one for the celebration for our next visit. So we have since sent them money and they have purchased their own new drums. This woman is saying, thank God, thank you for the road you have opened up, the pathways of opportunity in this village. We also thank you, that we, and we can't see you, but we thank you for your help. We are praying for you every day. We saw you dancing on the video. We would love for you to come so that we can see you in person. You can see our houses and our children. Sickness is a problem here. I've been sick for 10 years, and I am still sick but that doesn't stop me from working. Since the end of war, life has not been easy for us as women. War destroyed everything. The things we used to do, we cannot do any longer, and there is no help coming. No one has been here before. You are the first to come around to help. Everything you are sending, we receive. We are here for you and you for us. We say thank you for everything, for your families, we, the women of this village, are not tired. We are working. Whatever you want us to do, we are ready. Help us so we can help ourselves. We have been suffering for a long time. Money and education are difficult here. We are trying to rebuild our houses. We women get together and fix each other's homes. We have one or two done and are making progress. Tools have been a problem and you are helping us.
I am a part of the dancing group. All my friends in this village who were not part of this program asked me to speak for them. All of our friends have come to meet Yasa's sisters. We have organized our own group like you asked, and we are ready to work. We are all women, united in a global culture of peace, determined to end poverty, restore hope, dignity, and joy for all. We are citizens of this global community of one world, a culture of peace and prosperity. We need your help. Give the gift of hope and dignity to these hard-working women entrepreneurs. When you support Yasa Sisters, you give the gift of hope, and empower these people to change their lives and the lives of those in their entire community and country. Please get involved, make a difference today, and help us to impact more lives. Thank you.